Hi folks, and thank you for joining me for another episode of my easy, delicious meals at home. You can adjust the ingredients for two or three servings. You only need what you see on the screen for this recipe. My very own homemade tomato sauce can elevate any dish, especially if you use fresh ingredients and a simple method. I have shared my recipe in the link below, but you can also use a store-bought sauce of your choice. Either way, you will enjoy this delicious and easy meal. To prepare the prawns for cooking, you will need first to measure 100 grams or 3.5 ounces of them. It doesn't matter if they are fresh or frozen. If you are using frozen prawns, there's no need to thaw them before cooking. To create a delicious sauce for this dish, combine the tomato, chili and garlic sauce that you have prepared beforehand and some of the prawns in a blender. To give the sauce a more complex and satisfying flavor, add a teaspoon of umami powder, which is a tomato-based seasoning that enhances the richness and depth of the dish, and pulse blend until the prawns are roughly incorporated. To prepare the sauce, you will need a large pan that can hold enough liquid for the dish. Place the pan over medium heat and pour in the tomato and prawn sauce. Stir well to combine the ingredients and distribute the heat evenly. Let the sauce simmer gently, without boiling, for a few minutes. A simple trick to get every drop of your sauce and keep your blender clean is to add some water to the blender jug after you transfer the sauce to the pan. Then, give it a quick swirl and pour the diluted sauce into your pan. This way, you won't waste any ingredients or have to scrub the blender later. You can adjust the seasoning with salt, pepper, and herbs if you like. The sauce is now ready to add the cod fillets. Once the sauce has thickened and reduced to your liking, you can proceed to the next step of the recipe. Carefully place the fillets in the sauce, making sure they are well coated and submerged. Then, scatter the remaining prawns over the top and around the sides. Cover the pan with a lid and let it simmer for about 15 minutes, or until the fish is cooked through and flaky. You can use the fork test to see if your fish is cooked. This method involves inserting a fork into the thickest part of the fish and gently twisting it. If the fish flakes easily and is opaque throughout, it is cooked. The fish needs more time if it is still translucent or resists flaking. Depending on the type and thickness of the fish, this test can be done after about 10 minutes of cooking. Ideally, the fish should reach an internal temperature of 145 Fahrenheit or 63 Celsius for safety and quality. This is the steamed fresh rice and vegetables. It's three minutes in the microwave, which is great for to accompany the, uh, the cod. Fantastic. So the prawns on there. This looks gorgeous. I hope it tastes as well as it looks. Oh, just a little bit more sauce. Oh, yes. Oh, it's definitely taste test time. This looks nice, doesn't it? Yes. Cod is cooked. That is nice. It's going to be a very nice tea. Try the prawns. Soft. Succulent. They go so well this cod. It's a match made in heaven this is. Wow. Try a bit of the rice. Prawn. The rice, the vegetables, the prawns, the cod. Such a good pairing. That is the tomato sauce it is what I made before and I'll put a link in the um, description below um, so you can actually get to see the recipe. It is really fantastic with, this, with the fish, with the cod, it's lovely. This is my tea folks. better stop or there'll be nothing left. <laughs> right. Thanks for watching folks. See you in the next video.